Alright, folks, gather round because today we're diving into the fascinating world of Kanuko Y. Kraft, one of the most renowned fantasy artists out there. This talented lady has left her mark on the art scene with her incredible attention to detail, her love for fine art, and her extensive knowledge of art history. Trust me, you're in for a treat. Now, let's start with the fact that Kanuko Y. Kraft is not just an artist, she's a storyteller. Her fairy tale books have made their way into the hands of readers all over the world, from the United States to Europe, Greece, China, and Korea. Talk about global domination. But that's not all, her art is so popular that it's been licensed on calendars, posters, greeting cards, and other consumer goods. You can't escape her magical touch, my friends. And her work? Oh boy, it's been exhibited far and wide, finding its home in private collections across the United States, Europe, and the Far East. But it doesn't stop there, you can also spot her masterpieces in public collections at prestigious places like the National Portrait Gallery at the Smithsonian in Washington DC, the Cornish Colony Museum in Windsor, Vermont, the Museum of American Illustration in New York City, and even the National Geographic Society. She's everywhere, people. But let's take a step back and learn a little bit about Kanuko Y. Kraft's journey. She's a true international artist, born in Japan and making her way to the United States in the swinging 60s. She studied design and illustration at the Art Institute of Chicago, honing her skills and preparing to take the art world by storm. And boy, did she succeed! After her studies, she worked in some of the most prestigious art studios in Chicago, gaining experience and perfecting her craft. By the end of the decade, her talent was in such high demand that she decided to go freelance. And let me tell you, that was the best decision she ever made. Her work started popping up in national magazines and newspapers, captivating readers with her unique style and attention to detail. But Kanuko Y. Kraft didn't stop there, oh no. In the mid-1990s, she shifted her focus to children's picture books, fantasy book jackets, and poster designs. She wanted to bring her magical touch to a whole new audience, and boy, did she succeed. Her work has graced the covers of books by some of the biggest fantasy authors out there, and her posters have caught the eye of opera lovers everywhere. She's a force to be reckoned with, my friends. So, there you have it, the incredible journey of Kanuko Y. Kraft, the storyteller extraordinaire. From her humble beginnings in Japan to her rise to fame in the United States and beyond, she has left an indelible mark on the art world. Her attention to detail, her love for fine art, and her deep knowledge of art history have made her one of the most respected and well-known fantasy artists of our time. So next time you pick up a book with a stunning cover or spot a mesmerizing poster, take a moment to appreciate the magic that is Kanuko Y. Craft. Trust me, you won't be disappointed.